Hello, chumley. As you can see, I've used all of my luck for the day on the sim account. So let's take a bunch of trades on the real account, lose them, switch to the sim account, and then have all of them be winners. So hopefully we can upgrade my status from worst trader of all time to maybe second or third worst trader of all time. One of the things I'm going to focus on today is not trying to time pullbacks. The reason for that is because I always fail to perfectly time the pullback. So if I always fail to predict when the pullback starts, I may as well just follow that direction. Ah? Oh, and pay attention. Like right here, this is where I should short instead of trying to time the pullback. Because I'm never right about the pullback, so I assume this has more left on it to the downside. Let's say we got in where I started talking at 710. There was four points right there. That's what we gotta do. That's what we gotta do. Oh yeah, yeah, that's what we gotta do. I gotta be a cheerleader for myself, cause no one else will. Okay, biggest thing. Don't time pullbacks and good entries. Wait, no, no, I mean time good entries, but don't time pull... Okay, never mind. Don't try to time pullbacks, but also make sure your entries are great. There we go. Follow them. Follow the pullbacks. I like trading the NASDAQ so much more than the S&P 500. There's just something about the fluidity of its movements. <laughs> Whatever that means. It just moves so much more smoothly, whereas the S&P 500 is like, duh, 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 duh. You know what I mean? Like a tick on the NASDAQ is tiny. You don't really see an individual tick movement. It's more fluid. Whereas the S&P 500 is almost like a clock just ticking away, except sometimes it goes backwards and then forwards. NASDAQ is like you put a bunch of kids in a cannon and you just shoot them. <laughs> you know what I mean? No? Me neither. People talk about how weird their dreams are, saying like, oh, you wouldn't, you wouldn't believe who I saw in my dream. And yeah, and then we just like started playing volleyball. It was so crazy. And I'm like, the dream I had last night I was murdered, and I experienced death, and it was just nothingness for hours. Like, can I can I get the weird dreams where, like, you meet some weird person and you hang out? I'm, like, getting straight up murdered and put to sleep by evil doctors. Someone help me. All right, you Maz, I just had two burritos and some lemonade and... A peanut. If previous instances where this formation formed have no influence over this, if this event exists independently of all other events, then why do we even look back more than like an hour on the chart? Obviously that's different if you're trading something like hourly candles, but in this case, what's the point of even looking at what's going on up there? All of that other stuff existed independently with no correlation to this. There's a little thought for you. Huh? 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 Yeah, I know I said I wouldn't go back to NASDAQ, but guess what? Here we are. All right, I know by now it doesn't seem like anything's been happening, but I've taken like 40 trades on the SIM account. Not like I would do that with a real account, but I'm just testing different things out, and it's going well. Going well as in I'm learning valuable information, not I'm now a millionaire. But yeah, I'm feeling good. Don't know if I'll take a trade with the real account today or not, but I'm not stressing out about that. I can't let the pressure of wanting to make a good YouTube video affect my desire to become good at trading. I can't let that influence doing what's best for me in terms of learning. I don't know if that made sense. I'm a writer, not a talker. Although I think I'm getting better at it. Which isn't saying much because the only direction you can go from all the way down is up. Here's what we should do. We should, uh, we should make money. That's, that's the new plan. New strat. It's called... Making money. You ever think to yourself, I should short here, and then you don't, and then it goes 20 points down, and you're like, do you ever do you ever have that moment? All right, you handsome devils, I'm probably going to call it there. I didn't take any trades on the real account, but I had a very productive day on the sim account, just kind of testing different things out and just going for it, doing some thinking and taking a lot of valuable notes. I hope you're doing well, and thank you for your support.